so to start this look off i'm gonna be taking my nikayo eye and lip cream and i'm gonna be applying that around my mouth and on my eyes and you guys this cream is the best i applied it on my face and it felt moisturized all throughout the day so yeah i really recommend you guys check it out it's on ulta.com it's amazing then with my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 228, I am going to put that all over my face. And you guys already know this step. I just cover my whole face with it and then with a kabuki brush, I am going to buff it out so that there are no harsh lines and it looks really good sitting on my skin. How many of you are excited about fall? I am so, so excited. I can't wait until it starts getting cooler and we can start wearing winter clothes and fall clothes and all those kind of things. I am so excited. Tell me in the comments what's your favorite season. I'm really interested in knowing. Grabbing my Profusion Concealing Palette, I'm going to be applying those two shades you guys just saw under my eyes on my t-zone and on my chin and i do this basically every time i'm going to do a full coverage makeup and it really really works then i'm taking a flat kabuki brush and i'm just going to be lightly pushing that into my skin so that it all looks uniform and you can't see like this huge white blob under my eyes or wherever I apply concealer. Blending is really, really important so that you don't get flashback in your pictures if you are going out. So yeah, that's my tip. Always blend really good and make sure you don't have any harsh lines. Then with my e.l.f. HD setting powder. I'm just gonna set that concealer. I'm not baking as you can see. I'm just gonna be setting that concealer all over my face with the e.l.f. powder on a fluffy little brush I have. And then with my Fit Me powder, I'm just gonna set my entire face, my whole whole face, with a huge powder brush. This is gigantic. To bronze my face, I'm taking Sunkissed by Clinique and I'm just going to apply that on my cheekbones and on my forehead. And then with my e.l.f. palette, I'm just going to be putting some blush on my face. I'm taking the darkest shade and just putting that on the apples of my cheek. So I already did my brows off camera and then I am priming my eyelids. This is a really old foundation that I prime with, so it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to take that color you guys just saw from my All About Eyes palette from Style Essentials and applying that on my crease with a fluffy e.l.f. blending brush. None of the colors on these palettes have names, so I'm just showing you guys whenever I do apply a new shadow, you guys can see which one and use whatever similar ones you have. Then I'm going to be deepening that color with that other shade you guys just saw. This look is all about deepening the crease and leaving an open space on the inner lid so that it's like a cute little ombre. I'm going to be using the same brush for all these colors except for the darkest brown. I'm taking that dark brown and just applying it on my outer V, not dragging that into my crease, just like gently brushing that on my outer V. Although that doesn't look too gentle. <laughs> and then with this light color, I'm taking a flat brush and putting that on the inner part of my lid. This isn't a cut crease, but it's mimicking the same motion, it's just not as sharp or as clean. 
And then I'm just blending those colors in so that there's no harsh lines. We all know I don't like harsh lines. And then I'm dragging that same brown on my lower lash line and putting the whole eye together, connecting it. And then lashes. Lashes are so complicated for me. I never get the glue on right. I always put them on when they're too fresh. So yeah, that's, that's just too much. Then I'm going to be coating my lashes with the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit so that my fake lashes blend in with my natural lashes after I curled them. And then with my Italia Deluxe Liner in Toast, I'm going to be lining my lips and prepping them for my lipstick. And I'm taking this Victoria's Secret lip cream in the shade Drama and just applying that on my lips until I'm happy with how it looks. Because this is a little bit patchy. It's really good. I love the formula, but it's patchy. So I had to put a lot of coats so that it looks good and uniform. And for highlight, I'm using the Style Essentials Baked Glow Highlighter Palette and just applying that shade on my upper cheek I love this it was so cheap and the glow is amazing now that the makeup's done I'm gonna be brushing my hair down because I'm gonna style it for this video I know a new thing wow guys awesome and then I'm taking the freshen up dry shampoo by Eva New York City and just applying that on my hair because this is third day hair and I just wanted to give it a little oomph and make it look cleaner and smell nicer. <laughs> and then with my Tresme heat protectant spray I'm just applying that on the bottom parts of my hair so that it's protected. And then I'm just sectioning my hair and putting rolls all over my hair. This is simple. Um, I just like this technique better rather than a curling iron because I can do other things while my hair curls. And it's less, I guess, damaging to your hair. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, I'm just doing this all on my hair. After that, I'm just letting the curls sit for like 10-15 minutes, and then I'm just taking the rolls out. As you guys can see, this is super simple. And the curls are cute. So yeah. Amazing. <laughs> and then I'm done, guys. I don't do anything else after this besides from just separating the curls, and that's pretty much it. So yes, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you like, go check out all my other videos, and yeah, I will definitely see you guys in the next one, and I wish you a great rest of your week. Bye!